Hello and welcome to another Canoe Diva hands-on video. My name is Simon Müller and today I'd like to show you how to test invalid conditions using Canoe Diva. In Canoe Diva we go to the services and jobs view and there we have uh, the different services and here we can say okay the service is not available, uh, there is an invalid condition and we can describe what this condition could be. So for example we say okay the precondition for this execution is uh, there is something wrong and then we have an invalid condition and a to, to be expected negative response code. This negative response code can also be changed so by default we set um, conditions not correct as 22 for the standard UDS uh, negative response code here and we can also select another one so depending what what's available in the CDD file so for example um, maybe also general reject might be possible here. We can add several uh, uh, invalid conditions, which uh, is also then tested. So if there's another uh, condition where something uh, is wrong and the service is not available, um, then we can also add that. So the system conditions that we can select here, these are the, <clears throat> the system conditions that are defined in the project configuration. So this is how to do that manually. Again, here you can uh, change the negative response code, uh, but it's also possible to uh, automatically uh, generate those relations between invalid conditions and the services directly from the diagnostic specification. So with uh, Candela Studio um, 16, the colleagues introduced a new feature, which is called environmental conditions. And the environmental conditions that apply for uh, a specific ECU can be um, created or defined there. So uh, in this example, we have vehicle speed uh, containing two uh, different conditions. So above 10, so vehicle speed is above 10 and zero, so the vehicle is not moving at all. And it's possible to define negative response code. So if one of the conditions is violated, uh, then how should the ECU uh, reject uh, the request. So in this case, using uh, negative response code 22. So now we, <clears throat> Candler Studio knows what conditions are there. And for the individual services, we can now define under dependencies which uh, services are affected by these conditions. So for example, we have the session programming start service and we say, okay, it's only available if the condition is uh, zero, the vehicle speed is set to zero. There are services that have no restrictions, so nothing is set here. Um, so like for the fault memory services uh, or for the read data by identifiers as services. And there are others which only make sense uh, when the vehicle is not moving at all. So we say, okay, uh, also uh, writing uh, services shall only be allowed uh, if the vehicle speed is uh, set to zero. So with that information, this can be used by, by Diva. And we see this uh, on uh, two places in Diva. So first is we create, we get new system conditions from the diagnostic specification that can be activated and uh, deactivated. So for example, vehicle speed zero and vehicle speed above 10. And for this uh, system condition, we need to define how the ECU thinks that um, this specific uh, condition is currently active. So in this case, we say, okay, there's a remaining bus simulation where the vehicle speed uh, is transmitted via a specific signal. And if we set that to a value, for example, uh, to 21, which is bigger than 10, um, then uh, this uh, specific condition uh, uh, yeah, is, is applied. So there's also a third state which uh, simply uh, allows to use that, make use of that state for uh, everything that is not covered by these, those two states. So there might also be the possibility that, for example, the bus signal is not um, received at all. Um, so the ECU is not able to de detect if it's zero or it's, if it's above 10. Then how does that look like in services and jobs? So we have seen in the Candela Studio that um, the program recession service had restrictions, so it was only allowed in vehicle speed a zero condition. 
And here we get an additional test saying, okay, if it's above 10, then we have, uh, we expect that the ECU reje uh, rejects a request with uh, the negative response code 22. Okay, once we define all that here in Canoe Diva, either manually or generated from uh, Candela Studio, then we go into Canoe, run the tests uh, and so on, and we get a test report. And this is how it looks like. So first we start with uh, set, creating the preconditions. So in this case, uh, telling the remaining bus simulation to set the vehicle speed to a value uh, that is different from zero. So it was zero at the beginning. So we set it to 21. And then we request the service. And in this case, the service was uh, uh, responded with a positive response, which is incorrect. So therefore it's failed. So this is how to test invalid uh, system conditions or invalid conditions in Diva. Um, I hope you like that and you find this feature useful. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time. Bye.